Today, I'm pleased to announce nominations and staff for critical foreign policy and national security positions in my administration. It's a team that will keep our country and our people safe and secure. And it's a team that reflects the fact that America is back, ready to lead the world, not retreat from it, once again sit at the head of the table. For the first time ever, the United States will have a full-time climate leader who will participate in, min in ministerial level meetings. And that's a fancy way of saying they'll have a seat at every table around the world. For the first time ever, he will be a, there will be a principal on the National Security Council who can make sure climate change is on the agenda in the Situation Room. And for the first time ever, we will have a presidential envoy on climate. He will be matched with high-level White House climate policy coordinator and policy-making structure to be announced in December. And that will lead efforts here in the United States to combat the climate crisis, mobilize action, to meet the existential threat that we face. Let me be clear. I don't for a minute underestimate the difficulties of meeting my bold commitments to fighting climate change. But at the same time, no one should underestimate for a minute my determination to do just that. And as for the man himself, if I had a former Secretary of State who helped negotiate the Paris Climate Accord, or a former presidential nominee, or a former leading senator, or the head of a major climate organization for the job, I would show my, they would show my commitment to the United States and the whole world. The fact that I pick the one person who has all of these things speaks unambiguously to my commitment. The world would know that with one of my closest friends, John Kerry, he's speaking for America on one of the most pressing threats of our time. No one I trust more.